think we really need to focus on in raising our girls is to remove any sense of competition. So we live in a very competitive world and the way, if, unless we intervene, a girl will grow up thinking that she is only worthy if she's better than someone else, if she's prettier than someone else, if she does better on her maths test than someone else, or if she gets more love from mum on a particular day than her sister. And just one small thing that we do that we think is good, you know, I've done it myself and then I read the research and went, oh my God, that wasn't good, was comparative praise, you know, violent in prep came skipping out of school and she told me um what she got on her maths test and I said oh that's great darling what did Sarah what did Sarah get and I thought oh my gosh what I just did then was tell her that her result was only good if it was better than someone else or we'll say to kids like you were the best behaved child in the class or you were the best ballerina on the stage or the prettiest girl there and we think we're building them up but what we're actually doing is creating anxiety in them because we're telling them that they're only valuable when they're better than someone else and we want our girls to like themselves and believe in themselves all the time not just when they're superior to their peers or their sisters and that that actually does change like you find yourself this is one of those things where you need to reparent yourself because it's it was, for us it was so automatic and that was it would just fell out of our mouth and we just thought oh we really what are we actually telling them there what's the subtext for that and so it's going back and rethinking and reparenting yourself a lot of the time to think about how can i approach that differently so siblings if they hear this message over and over again and you know love is kind of what they're looking for particularly from their parents they're going to compete for it because they think that is the natural way of doing it and that's kind of the expectation that we've kind of set up not mean to yeah. but we have i think the other thing is that some kids just happen their strengths what they're good at are the things that you know are easy to measure mm. they're on the report card or the sporting yeah. field or whatever and then if a sibling has strengths that aren't easy to measure they can feel inadequate and therefore more jealous and competitive for mum's love and attention so one of the things we talk about in the last foundation stone authenticity is that yeah. every child has their own unique set of strengths and sometimes we have to help them find them if they're not the really obvious ones and raise the child that you have you have two very different children with very different sets of strengths and bring them up let them know that they're both equally valuable in their own right and so they don't need to compete with each other because they're different